So whenever you're making an assignment, um, you can go into the assignment and you can write, you can edit it, click on edit on the upper right to make any additions. And when you decide you want to have points for the assignment um, and, and however you want to make it do, you decide all those things. As soon as you have points for the assignment or you're going to make it a graded assignment, when you update the assignment on the bottom right, then a uh, add rubric tab appears on the bottom left. So as soon as your assignment becomes a graded assignment, this option is given to you. So when you click on add rubric, you, you're able to name the rubric. So for example, you can call it Monday assignment or whatever you want. And then below that, you have the criteria. And when you click on the pencil inside the box, you can describe what the person's supposed to do, what the student's supposed to do. So uh, you can say like three goals, uh, written and submitted to Dropbox, for example. And then you can choose how many points it's going to be worth. For example, the, uh, the, the default is five, but I usually make mine 10 points. And then you click OK here. Now, if you want to add other, th other things for the person to do, so they have to also um, do something else, um, submit online link or something whatever whatever you want <laughs> whatever you want to have them do you can just keep adding things here and choosing uh, how many points is going to be worth so that's how you would do that um, and then when you're done you can decide to use free form comments with when assessing the students um, you can use this assignment when you're just doing the grading and you can also hide the score total for assessment results so those are different things you can just choose from um, and I usually just click on there, I'll use the free form comments. So you use the rubric and also I make comments to my students. So this one, I accidentally saved this now. I shouldn't, shouldn't have added this, save this. You take it off over on the right. Don't want that one. Okay. So you use the X's to take things on and off. You use the boxes to fill things in. And you use the pencils when you want to write something in the rubric. And on the bottom right, you have to make create rubric. And that will go automatically with this, with this assignment. If at any point you want to make changes to the assignment or the rubric, you come into the assignment again and click Edit. And um, you can add things. You can add things inside the assignment. You can change the points or however you want the submissions to be. And then as soon as you click Update Assignment, one more time, the rubric appears. And you have a chance here at the bottom. You have a chance to also update your rubric by clicking on the pencil.